Peacemaker, fucking Peacemaker. That show rules, but I have comments. It's Peacemaker. The first couple of episodes, I was kind of groaning and eye rolling because one out of every five attempted jokes landed and the others were just kind of groany and shitty. But yeah. it's it's grown on me and I, I think it's gotten better, funnier. I really like it. I, I like Vigilante. I like the last episode with the gorilla. I, I like yeah, uh, I, yeah, I like it a lot. The fucking gorilla. <laughs> uh, yeah, my my comment on that is what really saves the show for me is the cast chemistry. It's got kind of a, it's not Firefly, but they definitely have that vibe to them where they all bounce off each other so well. Okay. And that really saves it because I think the writing is kind of third grade. You know, like yeah. I, 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 I'm watching it and thinking how I could have made a better show. Like had I, like for instance, not revealed earlier on that the leader there is actually a butterfly, and hadn't mm. had, you know hadn't it not appeared until she actually stuck his helmet on, that would have been so much cooler of a reveal. Wait, did you know he was a butterfly before she saw it with the X-ray? Yeah, yeah. They had the one scene where he sits down to eat like some cereal and pours the honey on it, and his proboscis comes out. That was like in episode two or something, I think. Oh, see that—that's how much I was paying attention. You're right, though. Uh, if I would have—if I would have seen that scene, that would have been a horrible, horrible. Not even yeah, foreshadowing. Yeah. Just that was—that was, that was a terrible, you know, thing right there. But uh, I do was, like seeing uh, Tasty from uh, Orange Is the New Black getting oh, some roles. Yeah. Oh, she's great, man. She she's just it's between her and him, the two of them just they they bounce off each other so well. I love it. And I mean that's what that's what James Gunn does, much like Joss Whedon. He does like chemistry. You know, Guardians of the Galaxy, it was all, you know, characterization. It was all the people getting along in their relationships and everything. And and who'd have thought Tasty would be like the perfect fit for a superhero show? Yeah, I know. She doesn't really <laughs> seem like a Marvel action hero, but there you go. Yeah, she's working yeah. out. Um I, I did like and I think it was like the second episode, maybe. And I was telling you and Mike about it, how unlike every other like Marvel venture out there, pretty much, it's so small scale. Like he spent that one episode trying to get out of the apartment building. The entire episode yes, was him trying yes. to get out of the friggin' apartment <laughs> building. And it was such a goddamn calamity. It was that was really, really good. I like that. So. So, yeah, I, I like it. I, I think it's definitely something out of the ordinary. It's definitely something they have not done before. And even though at times it comes off as a little try hard. And like I said, you know, not all the jokes land. It's still yeah. I like it. I'm glad it's out there. When Eagly goes full on murder bird. Fucking a right. That was awesome. <laughs> Eagly. <laughs> fucking uh. Eagly. I wanted Eagly so bad. Eagly is the best friend. <laughs> Everybody needs an Eagly. <laughs> And that'll do it for today's video, guys. Thanks for going on this journey with us. Let me know how you liked it in the comments section. And also, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel as we bring you more thoughtful and intriguing content in the future.